So this is the video um, for how to get the blowout braid out. So this actually is, ooh, so I did it Saturday night. It's now Monday night. So this is at the end of the day. It's kind of big, um, as you can see, which is good. Big is good. In the morning, it starts a little bit um, more compacted, and then throughout the day, it gets bigger, which is good. Um, I did want to show you kind of what I use and how I braid it. So you just need a comb so you can part. I don't comb it out. I just kind of finger comb, so I don't really need to comb it out. Um, it's a spray bottle with water, and you see the stuff swirling around. That is oil. Okay, so I use this oil. I use the um, one and only argon oil. So um, that's what I use. I just put the oil in the water. I have no measurements. I just put whatever I think. I actually had some water in here, and then... Um, it's not as defined as you can see here. So I put a little bit more oil in it to try to give it more definition. Um, it also could be based on how much water I put in. So you can kind of see that. So anyways, <coughs> excuse me. So I just section my hair. I have, obviously, you can do whatever part you want. And then I just um, section it that's already pretty much done. So the first time after I blow dry it, I just wash it, my regular regimen, and then I blow dry it. The first time I blow dry it, I actually section it with the, um, with the comb. But since I've already done that, I don't do it again. I just kind of use my fingers to get it. So, And then I corn roll each section down in the direction that I want it, obviously. So it's just like a braid out, it's just that my hair is not naturally curly and it's not wet. It's um, just blow dried. A <clears throat> um, couple things, when I blow dry my hair, um, while it's wet, I put in the same oil, the one and only argon oil, and then I also put in the um, heat protection spray and I use silk elements um, heat protection spray it's the same thing that I use when I flat iron it so it's pretty much the same process that I use when I flat iron my hair except for I don't end up flat ironing it I just um, basically uh, end up braiding it down. So something I forgot is I usually have a clip just so I can clip the hair back. So here's a good example. I'm just going to use my finger and it's not perfect see? but at least it's close to where the part was the first time so you don't need to waste time using the comb again because you've already kind of used it. It's already in there. Um, my other video when I showed how to, uh, I'll take my glasses off, when I showed how to um, take it out, you know, when you mess up the part, you don't mess it up completely, so it's still there pretty much. So you don't really have to take the time to part with the comb again. So my ends are straight. If you can notice, they're, this part section's not that bad, but what I do, because my hair has lost some of its curl pattern, um, especially at the ends, I take my bang and I just braid it into the one next to it. That way, the ends have some kind of, you can't call it a curl, because it's not really a curl, but it's like a bend, kind of an S shape, um, to the ends so my bangs don't look wavy, 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 then boom, straight, like at the ends. It's not, not cute. 
So I figured out how to get that all taken care of. Just by braiding it in. So after I braid it all the way to the end, what I do is I take my spray bottle and I just spray the ends and the ends get soaking wet, which are okay because my ends don't curl as you shall see. So making them silky wet will just kind of keep the braid from unraveling while I braid the rest. So I just, I shake it because I want the oil to come through into the water and over the sink. I just spray it right into it and then kind of twist, twist, twist. And so as you can see, it's like pretty much straight because <laughs> I have no curl pattern left, which is okay. Because we work that. So you can kind of see here how the ends are straight. So in the morning, which I didn't show in my other video when I took it out, um, in the morning if my ends are too straight, I'll just re-wet the, just the ends and then braid it again and let, let it dry. And then before I have to go somewhere or be somewhere, I just take it out and it gets more crinkly. This morning I didn't do that. That's when my ends are straight. Okay. So basically, just go around and do all the rest. And again, these are, these are, um, it's a lot faster for me to do it because the parts are already there from um, when I blow dried my hair and I did it the first time. The parts are pretty much there and I and I've been doing this for a month maybe so I'm pretty used to where I want the braids um, and everything yeah it's been about a month I've been wearing my hair like this because um, I wanted to stop putting so much heat on it you know my my hair needed to do some recovery because I was when I was wearing it with this natural curl, I was picking at it right here, right here in my hair. The curl is so tight. And so when I'm sitting or driving or doing something, I'm picking and picking and picking. And so I needed something to kind of let that part grow back again without putting so much heat on it. So I was kind of, um, so there's the end. I was, uh, Trying to figure out something. So I sprayed it and there you go, it just goes straight. So I'll show you when I'm done with the rest how I can scrunch it. So I don't want my hand wet when I braid it. Because I don't want I don't want the um, hair to start getting the natural curl. I want it braided dry. And then while it has the tension of the braid, then I will wet it. So I always dry my hands before I go to braid again. And then at 